You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good Friday morning to you. We do begin with breaking news. Shots ring out outside of a department store filled with holiday shoppers. It happened in the parking lot of Kohl's in suburban Chicago. Several people are hurt, including police officers. No officers were shot. None of the injuries said to be life-threatening. Witnesses say a suspect tried to shoplift from the store and ran to a getaway car. A vehicle on the scene is riddled with bullet holes. Less violent but chaotic. Scenes unfolding in several locations. Eager shoppers looking to get the best deals. ABC's Timon Bradley reports on all of the shopping madness. It's the national holiday shopping spree, but not everyone is in the holiday spirit. Overnight, wild scenes of Black Friday shopping. In Romeoville, Illinois, police fired shots at a man trying to rob a Coles. The suspect and two officers were taken to the hospital. In Southeast Texas, a Walmart customer grew aggravated when the store gave out TVs to the back end of the line. The lady cut in front of her and they tried to get the TV from her, so she just started hitting her. Another Walmart customer in New Jersey got into a scuffle with police. Walmart corporate released a statement overnight saying, our stores and employees did a good job calming things down quickly when incidents occurred last year, and we anticipate that to continue this year. These Black Friday shoppers were more tame and thrilled with the eye-popping deals. We're here to get the um, PlayStation for $99. I'm here early just so I can get in and out and go to the next store. This year, holiday sales are expected to hit nearly $600 billion, and stores tried to cash in by opening on Thanksgiving. Thought we'd get out and uh, beat the rush. Hopefully they'll get their Skylander and get all their dolls and toys and over with. The deals this year are better than ever. The average discount, 35% off. That's up from 25% in 2010. 140 million Americans are expected to shop in stores or online this weekend. Experts say there's no rush. Many retailers will keep these deals through the season. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Washington. Uh, thanks to Tamon for that. Black Friday, of course, is a reference to the day when many retailers finally go into the black, starting a profit for the year. Registers will be ringing across the nation once again today. And for some of those who went shopping yesterday, it was just a way to pass the time. My, my wife is a nurse. She's working 7 to 7 today, so we're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. So might as well do something, right? Right. right. Better than sitting with the dog all day watching TV. He's got a lot of people to keep him company. <laughs> For those of you counting, by the way, there are now only 26 shopping days left until Christmas. That's only 26. That is frightening. All right, brings oh us to our Facebook question of the day. What are your shopping plans for Black Friday? That is, will you spend more this year? Log on to ATMFans.com and make sure you let us know.